This is a guide on replacing a digitizer and the LCD screen on an Apple iPad Air. It is recommended that you replace the entire front assembly, which contains the glass digitizer and the LCD screen, if any of these components need replacing. For the replacement process, we'll need the following tools. Heat gun or hairdryer, suction cup, plastic picks, small Phillips screwdriver, small flat screwdriver, tweezers. To begin, shut down the device by holding the power button and then confirming the shutdown on screen. In order to soften the glue, we need to warm up the perimeter of the device with a heat gun. Be consistent and try to distribute the heat evenly. Do not apply heat for longer than a minute. Once the edges of the front glass have been properly warmed up, place a suction cup at the top left corner. Gently pour the suction cup, making a small gap between the digitizer and the aluminium body. Insert a plastic pick between the glass digitizer and the aluminium body and move along the perimeter, gently separating the digitizer. Insert plastic separators to keep the bezel from sticking back. Remove the suction cup and continue opening the digitizer along the perimeter of the device. Do not insert the pick more than a quarter inch deep, otherwise you can damage the internal cables. Lift the front assembly up and hold it at the right angle to the main body. Do not open it wider since the digitizer and the LCD are still connected to the device. Make sure that the front assembly will stay in vertical position during the disassembly process. In our case, we lean the front assembly against the box. The next step is to remove the small metal shield which is covering the LCD and the digitizer connectors. Remove three Phillips screws. Put the metal shield aside. Now that the connectors are exposed, we can disconnect the LCD screen and the digitizer. Use a flat screwdriver to gently pick open the connectors. Put the front assembly aside. At this point, the new front assembly can be installed. Align the front assembly with the device at the top edge. Reconnect the LCD and digitizer's cables to the logic board. Make sure that all the connectors are plugged in properly. Caution. It is very important not to force any of the connectors. All connectors are very fragile. Replace the small metal shield. Secure it with three Phillips screws. Close the device as a book, lowering the front assembly in its original position. Make sure that it is perfectly aligned with the aluminium body. Apply some pressure on the sides of the device for better adhesion. Turn the iPad on and you're done.